Johnson. Uh, we're at Rydell Shoes today where I've been for 45 years. We're going to give you a tour today so you can see how skates are built. There's three different levels of skates that we make. We have stock boots, we have specials like mismated sizes or extra wide or you know maybe one or two colors and we have customs which is the top of the line. You can get whatever materials you want and it's built to your foot. So your measurements come in, we build a last to fit your foot, we build all the patterns to fit that last and again you can get it in whatever materials you want. This is how a hide of leather comes into us. This is actually one side of the cow. The neck is up here, the butt's here, the belly here. So there'd be two sides to the cow. And what we're looking for on this leather, which this le leather is made to our spec here in Red Wing at, at the tannery. And uh, we're looking at any imperfections. Uh, here you have a brand that's in the hide. We'll cut around that, any other grub marks, uh, imperfections to the leather, we'll cut around that. We also, when the cutter's looking at it, they, they know at all times what part of the hide they're in. And the stretch changes, like down in the belly, the stretch is this way. So you'll cut a tongue like this way so that it doesn't stretch as much when you pull up the tongue. Uh, the best part of the hide is in this area for the quarters. Uh, we'll cut through there. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. They're trying to place their dies as close as possible and thinking ahead at where the placement of the next die will be. So cutting is a very important part to us because these hides are over $5 a square foot, so you want to get as good a yield out of it as you can. Barb's cutting out of a leather bend. So leather bends are used for outsoles. And different than the upper leather, outsole leather is vegetable tan. Uh, upper leather is chrome tan. So she's gonna die cut out the leather soles and then we'll split it to thickness and rough it so we can cement it. And again, like the upper leather, you've got the belly down here and you've got the back line up here, and the butt here, and the, and the neck up in that area. So you can see her placing the die as close together as she can. This bend is pretty clean, but you can get some real big brands in this too to work around, and some imperfections like that. Okay, what Dave's cutting here is the insole that the shoe is gonna be built around. We cut it two plies, so he's cutting a pair at a time. Uh, the material in front of him here is our sock liner uh, that he'll be cutting next. And these materials are coming in from all over the world. Dave is now cutting the sock liner material. It's a non-woven material that we put in after the skates are done and all the frames and stuff are fastened, this will slide in and go on top of the insole. Okay, next we're going to be cutting some shirling, which is sheepskin, genuine sheepskin. Uh, we have the shirling electrified, so it gives a real nice snap like this. And again, he'll be cutting, looking at directions and imperfections and trying to keep it as close as he can. Thanks, John. So this is the hide of the animal from the, you know, the skin of it, and there's the fur that's been completely tanned and ready to put on the skate. In 1998, we installed the TSS, or Toyota sewing system, in our fitting room. Uh, this allows us to work in work cells, U-shaped work cells, and the operators will do several operations and hand off to the next operator all the way around the work cell until they get to the other end. What she's running a label for, to put in the lining that'll have the size and the model number. So that's a model 336, size seven. 
uh, narrow. So we've got a sharp knife here that's going to cut a bevel on the bottom of the lining and sometimes on the toe, different areas that we want to get a bevel because it's too thick and it'll shadow through on the outside of the shoe or it makes it easier for the operators down the line by thinning out the edge. So here's some reinforcement pieces that are going to go inside the boot. Uh, you can see this edge here has been thinned out compared to the thickness of the material and again that's for so it doesn't shadow through or x-ray through to the outside of the boot. What we're doing here is cementing two reinforcements on. Uh, this white reinforcement is, uh, makes the upper a little bit stiffer and takes out some of the stretch on the leather so it doesn't stretch too much. The gray reinforcement is for going in the eye stay area where we put eyelets and hooks and it'll make it stronger so you can't pull them out. What Lila's doing here is sewing the linings together for a moxie lolly skate. So that is the foam side of the lining. This would be the foot side of the lining. And that is the stitch that she's sewing together there. You end up like that. Okay, this operation is called rubbing, and what Lila's doing is flattening the seam out so there's not a ridge there after stitching. Operation is sewing a backstay on the inside of the lining so that you've made that seam stronger. In this operation, Lila's turning over the collar uh, for the lining. The lining has been uh, pre-cemented so it tack, it's tacky and it'll hold as she folds it over. Okay, on this operation, Marisol is closing the upper pieces together. Previously, we did the lining pieces, so we make kind of the lining and the upper separate and then we'll put them together further down the line. So it's a zigzag stitch. Now on an ice skate, we put about five layers on there, you can't even bend them. Marisol is sewing the back stay on. Uh, this machine is a double needle, so it's sewing two rows on at the same time. She'll go down one side, turn around, and come back down the other side. Using a spray cement here, uh, spraying a little cement on to the upper. That'll help hold the lining until we get the lining and the upper stitched together. Now we're placing the lining inside the boot using that tack from the glue that she sprayed on earlier. All right, so what Anna's doing here is an operation we call edge stitching and she's stitching the lining to the upper. Once she gets through the collar here, she's gonna swing a knife back in, and that knife is trimming off the excess lining as she's stitching it. So Anna's using a computer stitcher here that's been programmed to stitch an M for the Moxie. In this operation, and has the M die, which she's using the press to then cut out the M inside the stitches that she just put in. On this operation, Anne is sewing the toe together. Uh, she's actually sewing it inside out. Then we'll rub the seam and turn the shoe the right way around. This operation is rubbing the toe seam. Again, like we did on the back seam, it's being rubbed out so that it flattens the seam out. In this operation, Anne is closing the toe seam on the lining. This operation is called second rowing. There's a guide on her machine that holds the needle a certain distance from the edge uh, to put in the second row of stitching. Between the edge stitching and this row will be the eyelets and the hooks, which will be put in next. On 
this machine and is putting in eyelets, the machine actually puts them in on both sides at the same time as she runs it through. So we're putting the holes in here that the hooks will go in. This is our hooking machine that Ann's putting in one at a time. Ann is putting in a lace, which is going to temporarily hold the spacing on how far the boot opens up. Uh, these are just temporary. Once the shoe is made, we'll cut these laces out. Okay, on this operation, Angel's going to sew in the first bar tack for the tongue attachment. Now we'll get a second sewing here, a bar tack that goes all the way through everything. Okay, so this is the last of the shoe that we're going to put the upper on and it'll form to fit the foot. Uh, the insole's been nailed on the bottom. And we're going to use a counter that's made out of a military fiberboard. This counter is probably the most important part of the skate. The counter is going to go in between the lining and the upper on the boot. And then when the boot is put on over the last, this counter will be built into the shoe. This counter is going to give you the support around the heel and all the way up through the arch area. So that's what gives you support in a roller skate. So this is the start of the lasting department. Uh, Tom's going to open up the shoe, insert the counter between the lining and the upper. The counter's been pre-cemented. He's going to pull the lining, pull all the wrinkles out of the lining, get the counter set in the proper position, grab a last, put it in the upper, and then run it through the machine to put the nails in the back. So Marty's taking a box saw and running it through the solvent. That piece of material will get hard after we make the shoes and that's what gives you the hard go on a skate. The next operation is pull toe lasting. We Put the shoe in the machine and into the pinchers, load the pinchers. It'll do the pulling on it. He centers the toe and now it's cementing it on the bottom. That cemented the lining. Uh, now he'll pull it one more time, which will cement the upper material, the black material, down to the last. In this operation, Tom is using a lasting pincher to grab the lining, get all the wrinkles out, uh, again, straighten the back stay and put the counter in position, and pull the upper over and then put a tack in there, and that'll hold it in position for the next operation. This operation is called side lasting. Kyle's going to pull up the lining, again pulling the wrinkles up, pull the upper up, get everything tight to the last. Now he's tacking in, holding that upper down. All right, this operation is called heel seat lasting. And the only part of the upper that's not fastened to the insole yet is in the heel area. So the machine wipes it over and then drives in the nails. So at this point, Josh is gonna cut the laces out, 
that were installed in the fitting room. There's no need for them anymore. So the area that Josh is trimming out is where there's going to be a steel shank put. So we need the lining and any other material in the way taken out. He's taken those tacks out that are holding the insole onto the left. That's grinding these lumps off of there, ladder, and then he rubs the finish off, because the cement won't stick to that. This operation is called roughing, and what Josh is doing is taking the finish of the leather off and opening it up so that the cement will go right into the grain of the leather, and when we cement the outsole and press it on, it'll bond better. operation Josh has just installed the steel shank in the arch of the boot and he's filling the cavity in both the heel and the forepart of the shoe that will actually overfill, wait for it to dry and then grind it off flat. He then puts it in a tower dryer and that tower dryer will speed up the dry time on that bottom filler. operation Brian is going to grind that bottom filler flat in preparation of cementing the bottom. So this is what he ground flat. You want that perfectly flat. In this operation Brian is dropping uh, urethane cement on the boot. He's going to brush it out to the edge of the upper. This is the cement we use to cement the outsole to. It's a two-way cement, so the upper gets cemented and the outsole gets cemented. Cement is allowed to dry in a tower dryer, and then we'll reactivate it to press it on the shoe. Next operation, we've got to activate the cement on both the upper and the outsole. The outsole is underneath getting activated. Uh, once that goes through activation, she'll spot the sole on there and then we'll move it over to the press. Katie spots it at the toe and then centers it at the heel. pressure coming up from underneath and down below. Once it's been pressed, now we're done with the last, so that comes out of the boot and the sole is on permanent. All right, this operation, uh, we're gonna put in nails that are gonna go through the outside of the heel, all the way through the shoe and in through the insole clinch on the inside of the shoe. So on this operation, these nails are called duck bill nails. You can see the point of it's kind of like a duck's bill. And when they go all the way through, they hit this steel plate and they clinch over on the inside of the skate. 
that helps hold everything together besides the glue. So in this operation, uh, we're trimming the threads by using heat, it's nylon thread. So any loose ends, the heat will uh, take that end off. Checking the inside of the boot, make sure there's no nails or any tack sticking up. And then we're using a sandpaper to clean the suede. This is where we put the heel plate on. Uh, it's coming up from the bottom. We put the M on the heel with two nails. The nails go in, and then the plate goes in. We're gonna put the uh, charm on the Molly's gate. Go on the right foot through the eyelet. That sticker she put in in the beginning, that's got her name on it. So they know they're putting their name on the boot. They find a problem that they can't fix, then they get a hold of the supervisor. have been produced so they'll be peeled off and put onto the box. So this first operation Josh is going to put in uh, pivot cups. Again we're installing the kingpins here, get them started and then we'll press them in. operation, Josh is putting the toe stop insert in. That'll accept the toe stop when we thread it in there. operation, we're going to put two bearings into each wheel. They'll be pressed in. In this operation, we're putting the wheels onto the trucks, putting a nut on there to hold it on until we get to final assembly where we'll adjust every wheel. In this operation, Dean is going to drill holes for mounting the frame to the boot. Putting one mounting bolt through there to attach to the frame. That holds the frame in position, allows them to center the heel and drill for the mounting bolts there. It's countersinking into the insole so that the head of the bolt lays flat.
All right, on this operation, Kyle's gonna break off the mounting bolts that are too long. That was pounding the top of the bolt off so that the nut doesn't come loose. And then he's gonna assemble all the trucks and kingpin nuts, cushions, cushion cups. Okay, Cat is getting these boots ready to put in the box, checking inside. The stock is already in it. She's gonna bag them and box them. Okay, we're gonna put a new label on the box because it is now a set and not just a boot only. So now this boot is ready to pick for an order for someone that wants a lilac size 8 lolly with a thrust frame on it. This is our shipping station line. Uh, we put the skates in the box and what order it's gonna be. And then we're gonna scan that order. And it'll pick it up on the computer. So we can double check what's in the box and where it's going. That's a UPS label that's printed out. Go on the box, box will get sealed up. Packing list goes in with the box. Ready for UPS to pick up. 